This is Huawei's new P50 lineup. Hi there, my name is Sam from Rose.com and today we'd like to talk to you about the new upcoming phones from Huawei, the new P50 lineup. Yes, it is a time again where we go through all the rumors that we collected so far to tell you what is to be expected from this new series of phones. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start straight away with our rumors review, let the facts speak. Traditionally, Huawei sets a focus on their P-Series on the design and the camera. So we can expect that they do the same in the P50 lineup. Which is not sure yet when it will be actually released. Since they usually release it in the first half of the year, around March, it can be expected that they will do the same this year. It seems like that there will be three different sizes, which will be called P50, P50 Pro and P50 Pro Plus with a 6.1, 6.6 and a 6.8 inch display. But only the Pro models will be getting the 120Hz refresh rate. The P50 will remain with 90Hz. One trend that can be seen in this new lineup is that the larger the screen, the more curved the edges. So that the biggest version will end up with curved edges on all four sides. A so-called quad curved display. Some rumors predicted that Huawei and Leica could go separate ways, but either company declined these rumors. Therefore, we will see a co-engineered camera system again in the upcoming phones. What we might see is that Huawei will upgrade the system with a 20-fold optical zoom, which would be incredible, and a 200-fold digital zoom, which is, well, I don't know, have we seen pictures of the 100-fold zoom feature on the P40 Pro Plus? Well, if you ask me, I don't get it. I don't think that they will be much better. I expect them to be even worse. I ask myself, how do you want to take a stable picture 200 times zoomed in on a handheld device? I think they could only do it if they come up with some kind of a new stabilization technology. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Rumors also say that they could implement a liquid lens, a lens which shape can be changed by electricity. Well, that sounds crazy. If they pull that one off, I'm excited to see what they are capable of. It is worth mentioning that all three models adopt a single camera centered hole punch camera. This is more beautiful as a pullback cutout and at the same time it further improved the screen ratio. First we heard that Huawei will get rid of the Android operating system in their newest phones and will implement their own produced Harmony OS, which will still be able to run Android apps. But newest rumors suggest that Huawei will stick to Android for now and we might see a switch to Harmony OS in future phones. The P50 will get the newest Kirin 9000 chip with a 5 nanometer process technology, which already did a great job in terms of performance for the Mate 40 Pro lineup. The smallest version, the P50, will get the Kirin 9000e, which will just be a little less powerful, but the phone's performance won't be significantly affected. As for the design, there will be five different colors available, with mostly a shiny finish. The design won't be a totally different one, at least not for the two Pro versions. The sticking out of the phone of the camera bump on these two will be reduced a bit. The P50 will have three separate camera bumps, which kind of look like three cameras from the iPhone 6 series beneath each other. The back will be a mix between a shiny and matte finish. Let us know what you think of the design of these new phones. For the battery size, we don't know much, but we expect something like 4200 mAh for the smallest and around 4500 mAh for the biggest version. As I already mentioned, these are just rumors. There's nothing really confirmed yet. And as soon as it will be announced and released and we get a hand on the device, we will definitely do comparisons. Till then, let us know what you think about these new Huawei devices. Will they be as good as the Huawei P40 phones? And which of them would you rather get? The P50, the P50 Pro or the P50 Pro Plus? Let us know in the comments below. And if you'd like to compare the newest smartphones and or other things, feel free to follow the link to our website. You can compare up to 7 different smartphones at versus.com. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Till then, take care and see you soon.